All right, uh, hello everybody. So I am the blogging boss for J29 Creative. As a content strategist and a blogger, I have people that um, actually approach me at different times um, through social media or in person and just ask, you know, how do I become a blogger? Um, how can I make money off of a blog? Like, where do I even start with that? And so um, I just wanted to share some things with you guys today. I actually have five tips of how to get started. Um, I will start by saying there are two different types of blogs. Um, there are blogs that are just, you know, like um, kids are going back to school and, and uh, moms want to have, you know, something to do with their time or they've been thinking about starting a blog. Um, so those are just for fun. And then you have your blogs where you're actually doing it to um, create re revenue and, and make money off of it and just continue to uh, build those followers. So those are the two different types of blogs that are kind of going in different directions. Um, so these tips are for both of those things. The first tip is whenever you're looking at being a blogger, you want to actually start following bloggers. So start following people on, um, they're all over Facebook, Instagram, um, Pinterest. There are a ton of bloggers who, um, who have already made it, who are making, um, are very well known and are making a large revenue off of their blogs. Um, an example would be like um, A Beautiful Mess, which is actually a lifestyle blog and they do a lot of things on like um, projects for the home and um, photography, like they developed an app called A Color Story. Um, so that is a really fun one, in fact that's one of my favorite to follow. Um, there is um, all types of, of successful bloggers, like if you're into tech, um, they have um, Mashable or um, VentureBeat. Um, if you're into like design and marketing, like if you're a web a web developer or anything like that, they have like um, they have one called uh, Life Hacker, and so there is there's just all different types of, of blogs out there, um, um, people that are very successful, or there's just smaller ones, you know, for moms that um, that have a lot of uh, great information. So so that's number one is follow everybody that you can that is you know, already doing what you want to be doing. And um, it's not so much to copy them, but, um, but to uh, gain inspiration and just kind of see how they're doing it. So the second thing is um, you want to create your brand. So once you, you know, once you start following and you're kind of getting an idea of what you want, you want to um, start thinking about how to set up your brand, like how you want yours to look. Um, you will want to um, choose a platform. For example, um, I like to use um, WordPress. So WordPress is a really user-friendly application or software that you can use. Um, you have to choose a style and then um, choose a name, of course. Um, name can be very important representing your blog. Um, it also becomes your, your URL, for example, for example like um, um, clickety-clackety.com or you know, something like that. So, so name, um, creating your brand and your name is actually very important and you know, we can go more into detail later on that. Um, if you're looking to make money, you actually want to create an um, electronic product or products that you can um, use to generate leads and, and capture people's email addresses. So if you're more into like the money-making side of blogging, then you'll want to go to um, entrepreneur.com and I will definitely um, put that link down below this video so that you can take a look at that article. So um, that they have great, uh, great tips on uh, setting up a blog to make money. It literally explains everything. So that's awesome. So number three is actually to create value. So um, as, a, as a blogger, you definitely want to deliver on topics or content that have real value. Um, in order to draw people to you, um, you have to have something that is interesting, something that's intriguing, um, and something that definitely has real value, and in order to keep them coming back for more. Um, so just remember that. Um, I usually tell people, you know, Think about what you're passionate about. That's what you should be writing about or something that you're knowledgeable about. Um, a lot of times knowledge and passion go together. So um, this also goes along with steps four and five. Four is you know, just getting your Facebook, Pinterest, 
Instagram and all of your um, platforms set up. Um, this is a great way to advertise your blog and just put it out there to the world um, to, draw, to draw the traffic in. Um, number five is the most important. I mean, of course you have to have all these other steps, but it is consistency and persistency. If you're not consistent, if you're not persistent, um, you can get something wonderful set up and then if you don't continue on with it and just put that, con that um, valuable content out there daily um, and you know, you're gonna lose followers and also it's gonna go down here real downhill really quick. So um, you definitely have to be consistent and persistent and um, when I was studying on some famous bloggers, um, the, common, the common theme is work hard. Um, you don't expect to get anything back or very little back for a long time um, because it does take hard work and just continuing that daily, that daily grind in order to, to really see big results and to get where these um, famous bloggers have gotten. So just keep that in mind when you go into that. Um, you know, be ready to be ready to give it your all and uh, be consistent with it. So, anyway, that is all from uh, all I have on blogging today. So, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below, and uh, we would be glad to talk more about these in detail. So, happy blogging!